Foreign or domestic is a simple game. Uh, we have the have a lot of things in our America that we find weird, and a lot of things in foreign countries we find weird. So I'm going to give laws, stories, and inventions to you, and you have to guess whether they're from good old USA or out in some other country. <laughs> Out in somewhere that's not as good as USA. Yeah, exactly. Oakley dokley artichokely. Right. So now last week, I, I just nailed this you on did. my head. You did. You did really you well. You got the laws right, but you didn't too do as well on the the inventions. No, but I got 100% of the law, so I'm okay with that. Okay. You were a law student for a while, so yes. it kind of makes sense. All right. for right. We're going to do laws first. For laws, it is uh, illegal to leave your house not wearing underwear. Is this foreign or domestic? Hmm. Domestic. And you, which are you going to guess a state? I'm going to say like Arkansas. Okay. I'm going to say it's foreign. All right. Yeah, I'll take foreign too, but I'll take like a. I'll say. I'm going to go India. Okay. India? I'm going to go England. England! Yeah. Ye old England. All right. It's illegal to leave your house not wearing underwear in Thailand. Wow. Oh. I was close. Yeah, you, you were close. close. Somewhat close. Uh, all right, next one. It is I wonder illegal. Why? I don't... Maybe it's like the not this t- to stop the spread of like disease or something. Yeah. Is it, what is it? What is it they get in India every once in a while? A lot. Co- yeah. <laughs> There's a big a one. A lot of diseases. There's a big one. Um, it is uh, for the next one. It's illegal to have for more than five women to live in the same house. Uh, domestic. That can't be domestic. Idaho. Uh, yes, it's state specific. Yeah. Huh. I I want to say, I want to say, say it's for, foreign. Foreign. Yeah. Where I, I, I want to say it's China. All right. Yeah, that's. Good, At that point, you're running guess, out of room. Joe. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Wow, that's really good. What do you think, Hopper? I, I'll take domestic, but I'll say like. Go Utah. Arkansas. Oh. Okay. Okay. I'll take Arkansas. All right. Joe. Yeah, you're wrong. Oh. <laughs> it's domestic. Where it's from? from Ohio, not oh. Ohio. not not Idaho. Ohio. Ohio. Oh. All right, and lastly, um, it's illegal for clergy. Uh, sorry, clergymen may not wear their religious garbs in public. I'm gonna say foreign. Uh, probably some sort of Middle Eastern country. <laughs> yeah, that's that's not a bad guess. Um, it's probably for protection, so they don't get attacked or something. Yeah, I I'm gonna I'm feeling domestic. Yeah, yeah. I don't. Where? I'm feeling Utah. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Mormons. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna take foreign as well and go off of Chuck's idea. I'm gonna say Israel. Oh. Israel. Oh, that's okay. a good guess. A good that guess. is a really good guess. All right, clergymen may not wear their religious garb in public in. Mexico. Damn it. Wow, really? Yeah. Well, it, I did terrible there, this That week. doesn't make sense. Any reason? I don't know. That's really strange. Like, the majority is Catholic down there, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, it is. So well, it might just be a respect thing for religion because Could you be. don't want to wear, like, your, your garb to the store and shop. Could be. So it's, like, a respect for the, the garb. Okay. Yeah, that's true. You don't want to get it, like, messy or, or like, something like that. All right, like, so this is the story section. I'm going to give you a headline and you have to guess where it's from. All right. First one. Hunter mistakenly injures himself with his own arrow. Arrow. That's a big deal. Skyrim. <laughs> so foreign. <laughs> the 1400s. <laughs> well, it is elk season right now. But it up is. Here. But with an arrow? Yeah. My buddy uh, at work is actually he goes hunt. Yeah. He's a bow hunter? Yeah. Cool. That's, that's really cool. Yeah. Um, I, I'm gonna, I gotta say it's domestic. Are you going to guess where? Probably like I, Montana or something. Somewhere where hunting is big. I, I think so. I, I'm i going to go with Ohio. Okay. Again? Hunting's yeah. big in Ohio. Okay. Oh, is it? Yeah. yeah. That's D's dad also bow hunts, and he lived oh. in Ohio, so yeah. That's it's a, D's dad. That's a strange <laughs> image. All right. Anyone yeah. else? D's dad uh, using bow. Uh, I'll say domestic or foreign. I'll say foreign. Uh, I have no idea where, though. <laughs> Finland. Right. Yeah. Some weird place. And Hopper? I want to go domestic, but I will take right here in Washington. Right here in Washington State? Yep. All right. This story is actually from 
Washington State. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Hopper, you're on fire today. Wow. Mount St. Helens. Uh, the guy is actually from up here in Seattle, and then he went down to Mount St. Helens to hunt and stabbed himself while he was wa- – he had it in his quiver. It His quiver somehow, like – Fell apart or something? Fell apart and it just stabbed him. Uh, that's so, like the worst. I knew I shouldn't give the hint about my buddy going bow hunting. That's stupid. <laughs> Damn. All right. And for the next headline, I I, I left a blank here because it says where it's from. Okay. So when I say blank, you're having to guess the place. Fill in the blank. Okay. All right. So blank goes barking mad over bid to silence dogs. Blank goes barking mad over bid to silence dogs. And this is where? Right. Don't, exactly. <laughs> Don't try and trick him like that. Oh, no, I wasn't. I was. Uh, the blank is aware. Yeah, the yes. blank is the place. Um, <laughs> Someone has been doing so good at this game. That was pretty stupid. All right, this blank is for where the place is. I'm leaving out the blank because this is where it's at. What's the blank mean? Where is this at? I'm going to say. <laughs> Who are you? Uh, foreign. Are you my grandson? <laughs> are you the great pugilist Tommy Ray Hanley? Um, I'm going to say it's foreign and it's Russia. Russia, that's not bad. Will you read it one more time for me? Blank goes barking mad over bid to silence dogs. It's a good headline. Barking mad over dogs? I think that's domestic. Where at, though? Um, I'm going to go with Alabama. Alabama. Huh. I'll, I want to go domestic, and I want to take Atlanta. All right. So Georgia. Georgia. Okay. Georgia. Georgia sweet Georgia All right. brown. It is actually Singapore goes barking mad hey. over bid to silence dogs. They they wanted to make a law that if your dog is loud and it, it, it keeps continues to bark, they will take out a section of their vocal cords. So they Whoa. can Whoa. Wow. Well, okay, well, I was behind do that in America. I was behind yeah. this until that moment because I hate when my neighbor's dogs are loud in the middle of the morning. Yeah, yeah it's not it actually, makes me really mad. I hate my neighbor's dogs. I want to kick it every single time. Yeah, it's not like a kill the dog thing. It's it's they're gonna take out a section of the vocal cords. All right, and lastly, the inventions. Uh, I'm gonna give an invention, and you have to guess which country uh, or state it's from. Okay. All right, first one. Actually, no, let's not do state because just USA or or country. Country. Okay. All right, first invention: the razor scooter. This was big in when. Oh, God, I, when I was in middle school, oh, yeah. too. Mine got stolen. Uh, the fold- foldable, like customizable Razor scooter. Where was this first invented? United States. China. Okay. Netherlands. Netherlands? Yeah. Razor scooter was actually invented in Taiwan. Oh. I did it. Close <laughs> enough. What did you say, Japan? No, I said uh, China. China. Uh, the the how why this was made the person this person wanted to get around his business faster cuz he said he was a slow walker oh. so he had all of his like counsel try to invent something so he could be lazy and scoot around the uh the business and they invented it and then an american company said that's really cool we're going to buy it and make a lot of money they have that in disney <laughs> give it to me in disneyland they have like razor scooters and bikes for the people who work there oh that's cool so nice. that you can get around the parks faster and finally the last invention the high altitude rocket, as in like a like a spaceship, missile? a spaceship oh. rocket. Oh, oh. Uh, I I gotta go with uh, that's that's Houston. I'm gonna go domestic. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm gonna say foreign Russia. We beat the Russians, dude. Well, no, we didn't. No, we, we they didn't. got to space first. Ah, oh, damn, you're right. <laughs> you ever heard of Sputnik? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> we got to the moon first. There's actually a really funny story about like there's a a hall of of astronauts and like famous space stuff that happened in Russia. There's only one American statue of Buzz Aldrin and um, Armstrong on the moon. The rest of the statues all Russian there's dudes. There's statues on the moon? No, it's in Russia. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Are you kidding me? It's in Russia. <laughs> I, that's what I heard. God, you need to pay I'm attention. Gonna, I'm gonna take foreign and I'll take Switzerland. All right. The high altitude rocket was made in the good old USA. Whoa, I did it. Where at? Um, and by whom? It was by Robert Goodard. And the thing is, with these inventors, a lot of them get changed around. Uh, he made a uh, quite a bit of them on his like farmland. He flew his roost, uh, first rocket. I it, I don't he remember. Flew what. his rooster. There's he a movie rooster. about it. Um, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. October. Cost- no, I think that Kevin Costner movie. Oh. I think it's Kevin Costner. Yeah, that sounds really I familiar. I don't know. Uh, Space Cowboys? 
I thought it was Octo- no. I thought it was called October Skies. I thought that's well, that was one where the kid was building rockets, but uh, yeah. Space Cowboys was the Kevin Costner Space one. Space Cowboys is a good movie. And yeah. then, um, Tommy or no, that wasn't Space Cowboys. That was one with the old people. Doing yeah, the that's rockets. with Tommy uh, Lee Jones. Yeah, with Tommy uh, Lee Jones. Anyway, and then he he got uh, finally got some patents because he was getting a lot of guff, and they took him to Roswell where he completed his research. He ended up at the end of his life having like. 214 patents for that's a lot. all that's, of his rockets. That's like Benjamin Franklin status. Yeah, almost. well, it was all for rockets because every time he created something new, he's like, "Gotta patent that." Yeah, so yeah, patent that. Steal this it. was mine. This is my idea. My idea. My he's idea. Like, my I'm idea. not crazy. I've got all these patents to prove I'm not crazy. But he's working in Roswell. <laughs> yeah, the crazy central of the U.S. other than Area 51. All right, so uh, that was foreign or domestic. Uh, Hopper, you did a pretty good job.